friends and welcome back to our channel. We are so excited to share our Nashville vlog with y'all. We had the absolute best time. Um, last year for Christmas, maybe the year before, we kind of made this pact with my family that we were going to stop doing Christmas presents and go on a trip together every single year. And this is like the best, I feel like, idea we've ever had. Mm -hmm. And next year, we're planning to go to Destin, Florida, which I'm already counting down the days for. <laughs> but Bunky and I filmed a lot of this trip, although I feel like there was so much more we could have vlogged. But we were also just in the moment hanging out with my family and just having a great time. So we're going to share what we have and kind of narrate our way through this with y'all so that it's not confusing. But first things first is we had to get to the airport. So I'm going to go ahead and insert that here. Okay, y'all. So it is about three o'clock right now. Bunky is getting off in the next like 45 minutes or so. We're leaving here, taking Daisy May to Bunky's parents' condo in North Myrtle. And then we've got to book it to Charlotte which is a four hour drive to catch our flight tonight by like 10, 15, 10, 30. And then we are headed to Nashville. Okay, so getting to the airport was a little bit tricky. Like I said, we were in like a time restraint, but then also we got there and the line for, was it arrivals, departures? It was very tricky because it was actually the arrivals line, but it was so long. Yes. It was like almost blocking us from even being able to get to the um, parking like the parking decks. Yeah, and all of the long term parking was closed, so we were like in full blown panic mode. I was like on Instagram saying like where can we park please message us like asap and tell us and we finally found a spot in daily parking mm -hmm. but then because we're not avid flyers we weren't even sure that we could park in daily for more than more than like one day yep. so thankfully all of my sweet friends on instagram were they were like yes park there go get your flight and then thankfully tsa there was no line like we were the only people we, we walked straight through oh yeah when we were going to nashville we walked straight up didn't wait for one person in front of us yeah which was um i think it's the only time that's ever happened in my life ever <laughs> it was so. so great Okay, so we made it to Nashville. It's actually the next morning. My brother came and picked us up from the airport last night and y'all, it was dumping snow. It was snowing like crazy. I was actually so nervous trying to like drive from the airport to his house, but we made it safe and sound. My parents just got here a little bit ago and we went and had breakfast. And then my sister and her husband should be getting here this afternoon. So we're all getting here, get settled in. I've got my GoPro. We are going out to explore. Jacob wants to take us to like this little place that looks so cute cute and has lots of like fun shops and coffee shops and all of that so I know I'm gonna love it so that's where we're headed to right now so on the first day whenever my parents got there we ended up going to this place called l, l market it was so cool they had a five daughters bakery in there they had this little place where there was like charcuterie boards and wine on like a conveyor belt and you could just like sit down and pick out what you wanted it was amazing they also had my favorite shop in there it was called barefoot cottage i think the coolest store i feel like in nashville um and then my brother and bunky uh -huh. Somehow made this bet about ice cream. Come on, let's do the drink. Let's do this together. Nah, you can't. I gotta get my money back. Fifteen dollars. Brian's gonna give me fifteen. I just, I <laughs> uh -huh. Wow. Wait, you know, first time here. Got some stuff here. Never been to this place, and I've been in Nashville for a year and a half. Ten out of ten would recommend. <laughs> He went to um, a, the, the milkshake bar, yeah, which is, I guess, a very popular spot in this L&L market. 
and he got this churro milkshake that was um, huge. It was it was quite large, and they apparently put this like frosting around the top half of the glass, and then they roll. They put like cinnamon toast crunch on it. There was a cinnamon pop tart. <laughs> there were some. I didn't know there was a pop tart. Oh yeah, there was pop tart oh, my involved. Goodness. There was um, like just the like, you know the wafers. Yes. Like, wafer yeah. cookies. So um, I bet him that he, oh, I told him if he ate all of the milkshake, every every single drip of ice cream, every little cookie, all mm -hmm. that, I told him that I would pay for it. But he only got like halfway through it. So. He was like about to be sick. There was so much yeah. ice cream. So anyway, l and Market was so much fun. And then we left there and went to this place called Penn's Mechanical. And Penn's Mechanical is somewhere that like if you have a big group, you would love to go there in mm -hmm. Nashville. There are like all kinds of games. There's like old school arcade games, which you can play like for free. They yeah. have all the pinball machines. They have like miniature bowling. Um, like, there was ping pong. Yeah. I think they had bocce ball bocce as ball. an option. Then after Pins Mechanical, we were finally able to check into our hotel. So we stayed mm -hmm. at the Embassy Suites. And we were on the 11th floor, which is the top floor. Um, you'll see footage right here. And Bunky is afraid of heights. And I thought he was going to be sick. He could not even walk on the left-hand side. Like He was like hugging the wall trying to get to our room it was yeah. quite comical only on the first like the first couple of days is it was very surprising i wasn't expecting it but <laughs> i don't like walking beside something like that where i can see like all the way down it was so just hot like, in the air yeah just like into like the the middle of the building like by the after a couple of days like i was i was cool with it but yeah it, i did it expect it whenever we first got there it, it was just, wild whew. and i will say if you stay at the embassy suites they do um complimentary breakfast and it was actually a really good breakfast mm -hmm. and they also do free happy hour for like two hours every night you can go get free cocktails so 5 30 to 7 30 there are definitely perks to stay at the embassy suites and they have a shuttle that will take you pretty much anywhere you want to go like downtown to broadway street to the gulch a couple different places um, so that was like very convenient as well and the shuttle's free if you stay there too. Looking cute, OOTD, <laughs> head to toe, adorable. Excuse me, sir. Uh, what are you doing? Oh, just dreaming of you. Aww. Okay, so it is day two. Bunky is down in the lobby trying to get some coffee or something. Um, my sister is actually here. Her husband is here. They made it. We had such a fun day yesterday. They actually, something happened with my sister's guitar when she flew in. So um, they are going back to the airport to grab that. My brother is already down on Broadway and he is actually going to play a gig today. So my entire family gets to go see Jacob play in Nashville, which is so cool. We're going to have the best time and I'm sure do lots of other fun things. So we're going to bring you guys along for day two. So before we went to my brother's performance, we were all really hungry and wanted something like a quick bite to eat and we needed coffee. So we ended up going to um, Fifth and Broadway, which that is where the, it's called Assembly Hall? Mm -hmm. The Assembly Hall is. And that is like a place where you can walk in and there are probably 30 different places you can go eat yeah. or get drinks from, coffee, crepes, you name it. There is somewhere you wanna eat there. And they also have lots of really cool shops and this is where the big uh, flower Ford truck was, mm -hmm. which was stunning. Yeah. Mm -hmm. 
So after Assembly Hall, we went down to Broadway Street and Jacob played his entire gig, which was awesome. And then he was able to let my sister come up on stage and she got to sing a song. So it was the coolest thing to see like my brother and sister perform on Broadway, like in one of the big bars. I mean, it was just so much fun and they did so well. Like, yeah. I wish I had half their talent, but I don't. <laughs> Good morning. It's a little chilly out here. We are about to go to Nashville Hall of Fame, which I have never been. You've been, right? Yeah. And I'm so excited. I hear it is amazing. We're going to go there. Then we're going to head to 12 South, which I'm so excited for because that's like my favorite place in Nashville. Do a little bit of shopping, get some coffee. It's going to be a really fun day. Can't I'm so wait. pumped. And we may or may not be riding a scooter to the Nashville Hall of Fame. I'm not about this, We'll see how this goes. <laughs> He's about to get another ticket for riding their scooters on the main road. <laughs> We're cold. We're not sure about this, but our brother has convinced us to take the limes. We'll see how it goes. So we made it to the Nashville Hall of Fame. We did not take the scooters. We ended up getting a shuttle because we couldn't figure out the scooter situation. The group ride. The group ride. We're not smart enough for the group ride. Yes. But we are about to go in. I am so excited. I think this is going to be amazing. And then I got to get some coffee because I have not had any yet today. Mm -hmm. We're on zero caffeine. Yes. And there's a frothy monkey here in the Nashville Hall of Fame. And that's like one of my favorite coffee shops in Nashville. So I'm super excited about this. We're um, we're excited to learn the history mm -hmm. of all these musicians that have made such an impact on our lives. Because y'all know we love us some country music. <laughs> <laughs> hey, what did you think? I thought it was pretty neat, Bunky. What was your favorite part? Um, the 70s. The 70s? The 60s and 70s. Okay, what was your favorite part? I like Johnny Cash. Johnny Cash. I love seeing all of the fashion, everyone's costumes, outfits. That, that was, was really favorite. fun. Outfits. What was your favorite part? Oh, uh, probably the Florida Georgia Line exhibit. It was great. <laughs> He's Not joking. Really. He's oh, Dad, Dad, what was your favorite part? It was the outlaw country because I'm an outlaw. Oh, I love it. That's an outlawed in law. Yeah. <laughs> Jordan, do you want to tell us? Uh. Yeah, I like Johnny Cash. Okay. So we left there and we headed to 12 South and 12 South is like one of my favorite places in Nashville. This is where like Sony Clover is, White Spurgeon Tile. Um, we ate at Bar Taco. Y'all, I don't know why I did not get footage of our food in Bar Taco because it wow. was, y'all. It was off the charts. It was some of the best food I feel like we've yeah. Ever eaten. It's all it's almost oh it's almost ruined like it's technically Mexican food. Yeah. Like, I mean right, like but it's not like as far as like tacos and you know, margarita and that um, corn. Oh my gosh. They oh, had street corn. Mexican street corn, but like they got it off the cob and put it in a bowl and yeah. the sauce on it, the flavor, the like, spice on it. Oh my goodness gracious, y'all. Yeah. And I had a like shaved ribeye taco. My mouth is watering. <laughs> so if you're in Nashville, you go to Bar Taco, yeah. is what we're trying to tell you. Um, so anyway, we got, oh, cookies at Kirstie's Cookies. Yep. The best cookies ever, 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 ever. Like, this is what I dream of in my sleep, okay? <laughs> I need a bite of this. Best cookies ever. Can I have it? <laughs> yeah, well, I was trying not to. <laughs> oh, amazing. We got lots of them. Okay, so I just went into Stony Clover, which y'all, that is like a dream for me. I've always wanted to go into one of those stores and it was so beautiful. And then now we are at White's Mercantile, which I love this store as well. And y'all know I love Mallory Urban so, so, so much. It would make my entire year if I got to meet her while we were here. But um, she was actually here last week, like doing a book signing. 
So we're just like a few days short from getting to meet her, but I know that she shops here a lot too, so I am going in. The next day, we went to um, the Graduate Hotel, which is like the Dolly Parton Hotel. Mm. Oh my goodness. It is stunning. The decor, the like attention to detail, very nice, breathtaking. Very nice touches in that place. It is like, wow, it is breathtaking, y'all. You have to go there just to see the inside of that hotel. And they have a little- it's colorful. Yeah, and they have a little coffee shop there. It's called Poindexter Coffee, I think. And I have a little bit of footage from it, but we got breakfast there and it was my favorite. Like, it was so cool. So then after that, we took my parents to the airport and then my sister and her husband had already left. They drove home, but Bunky and I, our flight did not leave till the next day. So we ended up um, checking into our new hotel and then we went out with my brother for the entire day and like walked around all of Nashville and we just That's had- we went to the Gulch. We went to the Gulch. We had the best time. I don't have any footage with, I did not film anything that day, but yeah. it was so much fun. Our entire trip was just great. If you haven't been to Nashville, you need to go. It is just one of those places that's like electrifying. I don't know. Very inspiring. I loved it so much. So anyway. It's a great experience. It is. And that is our trip for you guys. We had just the best time. And I'm so glad that we got to bring you guys along for at least the majority of it. And I promise we're gonna get back to normal videos next week and get back to filming a lot more. So trust me, new videos are coming. But I love you guys so much. Thank you for hanging out with us. Don't forget to subscribe if you're new. Give this one a thumbs up and we'll see you guys in the next one. Bye y'all.